Hello everyone, Anirudh here. Uh, today I will be explaining about the cavitation effects, the definition of cavitation, vapor pressure, vaporization, along with the example in CFD simulation, that is CFD fluid answers. So uh, this is the simple geometry in which the liquid is flowing from inlet along with some pressure as well as temperature. And here that there is a throat in which the pressure difference takes place. This 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 is the exit which is outlet. And here I added a simple guide weights in which just to make sure that the fluid is separated properly. And I just wanted to show you how the cavitation effects take place. So here these are the bubbles. These are the bubbles in which uh, these bubbles are formed actually just because of pressure difference. And the pressure, if we consider at any point, if that pressure is less than uh, or equal to the vapor pressure, then the vaporization process takes place and when the vaporization process takes place due to this heavy uh, pressure difference the bubbles are forming these bubbles are continuously carried out with, uh, by the uh, flowing liquid and just because these bubbles collide with each other they impact heavy pressure and uh, yeah, the e erosion process takes place just around the borders or boundaries of this geometry as well as here in the guide winds. Uh, so I will uh, show you this. This was a stream light by the way. And this is the plane. Here you can just clearly see that how the bubbles are forming. And here the bubbles which are formed just because of pressure difference. And uh, the cavitation effect is just because the vaporization process takes place in which the pressure at any point, just consider here the pressure at any point is brought by some is brought down or uh, equals to this vapor pressure uh, and just because of this the vaporization process takes place same here I will explain you uh, this the cavitation bubbles are formed and this just because of this cavitation bubbles the erosion takes place along here as well as around the guide veins so I will show you the live example here. Uh, in the industry, this turbine was affected in this cavitation. And uh, this, this is the result of the cavitation process. The cavitation process is nothing but here the pressure at any point is reduced to vapor pressure or less than vapor pressure, this leads to vaporization. And due to this, the bubbles are continuously forming. And these bubbles are carried towards the high pressure zone and when these collide each other they they produce a high impact pressure and just because of this erosion process takes place and the cavities are formed and this can be pretty harmful in every industries and the examples in which the cavitation process takes place are turbines pumps and where the liquid continuously is flowing so vaporization coming to the vaporization process Vaporization is nothing but conversion of liquid state, here there is a liquid, to gaseous state. Uh, suppose we consider this as closed vessel, here on the top of this, a lid is placed, here the liquid is there, and continuously, uh, when if, even if the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, but if this pressure is brought by some means uh, to the vapor pressure or less than the vapor pressure, the vaporization process takes place. And in this vaporization process, the molecules in the water or the liquid gets accumulated in between the space <coughs> here, in this space, and this exerts some pressure. This is nothing but vapor pressure. So vaporization is conversion of liquid state to gaseous state, and vapor pressure is nothing but thus the pressure which is exerted on the top surface of the liquid. Uh, that is the vapor pressure and this vapor pressure can be the, uh, the vapor vaporization process can take place at any temperature no matter but uh, only if this vapor pressure only if the pressure at any point should be brought to vapor pressure or less than vapor pressure so that that time the vaporization process can take place no better at any temperature like if we consider 20 degree celsius also and 30 degree celsius also the vaporization process can take place only the pressure term has to be adjusted 
or else like if if we keep the pressure as atmospheric pressure then it's natural that we have to bring that this temperature of 20 to 30 degrees celsius to around 100 degrees celsius then the vaporization process starts takes place so these is these are the concepts in which uh, you get clear idea about cavitation process because these are all linked to each other and in the next lecture uh, like i will share with you how this simulation i carried out this simulation this is the volume fraction in which the bubbles are uh, cavitation by with the help of cavitation model i created this one and i will explain you this entire setup like how to do cfd simulation using uh, using this ansys fluent as well as i have used the i have used uh, python also that's it thank you thank you so much i hope you like this video and uh, you go, uh, you get a clear idea of this computation effects thank you